Welcome very warm. Welcome to today's session brought to you by Team Textbooks for Coaching. I hope all of you are doing really well. Good evening, Shabnam, Rashmi, Apradita, Sujit, Divya, uh, Arpit, uh, Zamar. Good evening, everybody. Deri nahi karte hoye, pata pata se. Let's just quickly get started with today's session. Um, I hope आप लोगों को कल already मैंने आपको बता दिया है about your changed master class timings for next week. आपके master class के timing next week के लिए Monday to Friday रहेगा at 9 a.m. on by T. We are going to be meeting at 10:30 p.m. and of course, our kind of foundation batch regular chalta hai. That is at 8:30 p.m. Right? Uh, so, deri nahi karte hoye. Good evening, Kaveri. And the very interesting questions that we've got for next week. Or, jaise maine aapko kaha tha ki ham log next week history of English literature ko ek book ke madhyam se padhenge on the YouTube platform so that regularly ham log ek chapter ek unit ko achhi tarah se properly exhaustively cover kar rahe hain. So, that is also going to be covered end to end, uh, achhi tarike se. Uske saare ke saare uh, proper कट आउट्स आप लोगों के साथ शेयर किए जाएंगे सो नेक्स्ट वीक इज ऑफ कोर्स फुलफिल्ड इज गोट बी वेरी फुलफिलिंग एंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ मेकिंग शोर के ऑल ऑफ यू आर गेटिंग बैक ऑन ट्रैक एंड प्रॉपरली प्रिपेयरिंग ठीक है तो देरी नहीं करते हुए फटाफट से लेट्स जस्ट वेरी क्विकली गेट स्टार्टेड आज हम लोग ट्वेंटी क्विक क्वेश्चन को कवर करेंगे प्लस फाइव बोनस क्वेश्चन सो मिनिमम ट्वेंटी फाइव क्वेश्चन हम लोग प्रैक्टिस करेंगे आगे अगर और स्पीड बढ़ी बिकॉज दिस डेक हैज ऑलमोस्ट सिक्सटी क्वेश्चन बट लेट्स जस्ट दी हाउ न्यू वी आर एबल टू कवर ऑल टूगेदर सो विदाउट फर्दर ड्यू लेट्स जस्ट वेरी क्विकली गेट स्टार्टेड सो आई होप सबको ये क्लियर हो गया होगा एवरीबडी विल बी एब्सोल्यूटली क्लियर अबाउट यू नो योर योर सेशन टाइमिंग्स अब आपकी फाउंडेशन बैच भी सैटरडे तक भी होने लग गया है फेब्रवरी से जैसे आप मैंने आपको बोला था सो मंडे टू सैटरडे ऑब्वियसली वी आर मीटिंग रेगुलरली एंड सिलेबस को थोड़ा सा और कंप्लीट करने के लिए अगर एक्स्ट्रा स्केड्यूल्स भी लगेंगे तो वो तो ऑब्वियसली आपका मंडे टू संडे भी हो जाएगा राइट सो ऑफकोर्स योर फाउंडेशन बैच क्लासेस आर गोइंग ऑन जैसे आज हम लोगों ने कनेडियन डाइस फॉरिक राइटर्स ऑस्ट्रेलियन राइटर्स कल हम लोगों ने कनेडियन राइटर्स करे थे ऑफकोर्स मास्टर क्लास आपकी नेक्स्ट वीक के लिए नाइन ए एम पे होगी इट विल बी ऑन द टेक्स बुक एप एंड वाई के लिए तो यूट्यूब के लिए तो टेन थर्टी पी एम इज रेगुलर फिक्सड फाइन और डेली क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस करना भी हम टेलीग्राम प्लेटफॉर्म पर स्टार्ट करने वाले हैं रेगुलसली सो Please make a note of that as well. So, Deri, nahi karte hue. Fada fad se. Let's just quickly get started, right? Let's just very quickly get started with the twenty quick revision questions. Five bonus questions bhi hai iske saath, but minimum twenty questions aap log revise kar payenge. And plus, there are five important questions. So, aap imagine kijiye every day on the master class, we have made sure that we are making a, a worksheets of at least fifteen to twenty five questions regularly. Aapki har ek master class next week jo hai. उसमें कम से कम 15 टू ऑलमोस्ट 25 फाइव कॉन्सेप्ट क्वेश्चन विद एक्सप्लेनेशन सो क्वेश्चन विद एक्सप्लेनेशन दैट यू विल बी प्रिपेयरिंग लाइक लीडर बोर्ड भी आपका डेवलप होगा आज आई थिंक वो रीस्केजुलिंग में कुछ इश्यू होगा दैट इज द रीजन ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट एंड योर वाई टी इज गोइंग टू बी एट टेन थर्टी पी एम फाइन तो ये तीनों के तीनों स्केड्यूल है Let's quickly get started. This is the first question. What is the name of the three brothers in Jonathan Swift's *A Tale of a Tub*? So when we are talking about *A Tale of a Tub* being a religious allegory, I hope you are following the method. Follow kar rahe hain. You have your Oxford companions right right beside you. Just the he a topic aata hai. Just a tale of a tub aaya hai. At least read it from your Oxford companion. Make quick notes all together. Blank sheets hongi, so that will be better. So if you are having blank sheets of paper or notebooks that are actually blank all together, you can make sure that you are noting it down. What is the correct answer over here? A lot of you have started answering. A lot of you have started answering. Jaldi se bataiye yaha par kya sahi jawab ho jayega. What will be the correct answer? Let's just see how many of you get it right. We were ready. Started getting the right answer. Absolutely correct. Now when we are talking about Peter Martin and Jack, Peter Martin and Jack, Luke nahi hai. Luke nahi hai. Luke nahi hai. Luke nahi hai. So it's Peter Martin and Jack. Peter Martin and Jack, right? So B is the right answer. These are the three brothers that we are able to see in the religious allegory. Now religious allegory ke under what you have to remember, 16th and 17th century me. किस तरह से वी वर एबल टू सी मल्टीपल रिलीजियस फिशर्स दैट वर डेवलपिंग क्वेकर्स मेथोडिज्म आपका मेथोडिज्म फॉर इंस्टेंस इवन जॉर्ज एलियट कॉमेंट्स ऑन मेथोडिज्म ऑल टुगेदर राइट तो आपको ये सारी की सारी चीजें थोड़ी सी ध्यान में 
रखनी पड़ेगी यू विल हैव टू कीप दैट इन माइंड ऑल टुगेदर ओवर हियर ओके सो हियर द एक्सप्लेनेशन कमिंग वेरी क्विकली फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू सो दैट ऑल ऑफ यू कैन आल्सो मेक अ नोट ऑफ इट जल्दी से इसको देख भी लेते हैं सो अगेन थ्री ब्रदर्स पीटर मार्टिन एंड जैक राइट एंड दे हैव इनहेरिटेड दे हैव इनहेरिटेड द कोर्ट्स राइट एंड द विल ऑफ गॉड जो बाइबल है द विल ऑफ द फादर इज आल्सो देयर ऑल टुगेदर द फादर हैज सेंट देम अ विल ऑल टुगेदर व्हिच रिप्रेजेंट्स इट्स एन एलिगरी इट्स अ रिलीजियस एलिगरी एलिगरी के अंदर ऑब्वियसली देयर इज अ सरफेस मीनिंग बट देयर इज अ पैरेलल मीनिंग मॉडर्न डे वर्क में इसको क्या कहते हैं रोमन अक्लेप भी कहा जाता है नोबल विद अ की इट्स एक्चुअली टेलिंग द स्टोरी बट इट अल्यूड्स टू अदर थिंग्स आल्सो ओके सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट ऑल टुगेदर यस शबनम सो ऑक्सफोर्ड कंपेनियन टू क्रिटिकल थ्योरी आई विल बी मेकिंग अ वीडियो ऑन दिस आल्सो दैट व्हिच ऑल ऑक्सफोर्ड कंपेनियंस आर देयर एंड हाउ कैन यू यूटिलाइज देम ठीक है सो प्लीज कीप दैट इन माइंड दैट हाउ वी आर एबल टू सी दैट दीस आर द थ्री ब्रदर्स राइट दीस are the three brothers that we are able to see and all of them are making adjustments to the court that means none of them are being true to the will of the father that is the bible to ye cheez aap wahan par dekh pate ho okay moving on to the next question jonathan oldbuck jonathan oldbuck is a character in which of the following novels by walter scott 19th century literature ke andar both jane austen and walter scott are must read novels altogether i have even said it in master classes ke aap logo ko 19th century novels separately make sure that you have crisp concise notes otherwise ek din mein ya do din mein aap padhenge that obviously becomes really huge so every day also if you're picking up one or two works that are coming from 19th century that's all is very helpful okay so jonathan oldbuck is a character in which of the following novels kaun si novel ke andar are you able to see the character of jonathan oldbuck where are you able to see the character of jonathan oldbuck jonathan oldbuck ka character where is the character of jonathan oldbuck coming in let's just quickly see that very quickly jonathan oldbuck jonathan oldbuck where are we able to see this character kaveri has got the right answer antiquary is the correct answer theek hai antiquary jo aapka walter scott ke waverly waverly novels bhi aa jati hain right so antiquary yaad hai kal hum log ne foundation batch mein when we were talking about margaret lawrence the manavaka novels uh, manitabo manavaka manitabo so ye pura ka pura and how lawrence was coming in manitabo i hope you are able to recollect that so antiquary jo third novel hai of the waverly novel words by walter scott walter scott is known for writing historical fiction kiske liye jaane chahte hain so known for making sure that he is writing your historical fiction altogether and uh, you know that this is uh, centering on the character of an antiquary that you are able to see over here just give me one second um ओके सॉरी राइट सो व्हाट आर वी एबल टू सी वी आर एबल टू सी के एंटीक्वरी जो वर्क है दैट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द वेवली नोवेल दैट दैट इज कमिंग इन राइट एंड अगेन लाइक वी आर एबल टू सी किस तरह से कौन से राइटर की क्या इंपॉर्टेंस है इन द 19th सेंचुरी ट्रेडिशन यू विल ऑलवेज सी दैट दिस एफर्ट ऑफ प्रिपेयरिंग कंस्ट्रक्टिव नोट्स ऑन 19th सेंचुरी नोवेल विल ऑलवेज बी हाई डिविडेंड्स बिकॉज़ हर एग्जाम में कुछ ना कुछ 19th सेंचुरी नोवेलिस्ट से पूछा जाएगा एंड विच बी ह्यूज ओनली नाउ दिस एंटीक्वरी एंटीक्वरी अ कलेक्टर ऑफ फास्ट डिटेल्स ऑल together is an amateur historian archaeologist collector of items of dubious antiquity altogether ye eponymous character hai or uh, that you are able to see and you know through the characters of lovel and isabella wardo right uh, so this is the conventional love story again uh, scott himself really loved uh, antiquity overall it was also very critically uh, regarded rather grierson said not many apart from shakespeare could write scenes in which truth and poetry three realism romance more wonderfully presented okay so third novel of the waverly series antiquary uh, the eponymous character collecting a lot of these historical past artifacts lovel ka character isabella warder ka character aapko next time ye bhi pucha ja sakta hai so you should be remembering it which walter scott novel is set in france in the 15th century right is set in france in 15th century so when
when we are talking about Walter Scott's novel, right, which has the character of Jonathan Oldbuck, that is antiquary, right? Jonathan Oldbuck ka jo character hai, wo antiquary mein aa raha hai. Novel which is set in France. Which novel is set in France? Yeh similar. Very good. Tehseen has got it right. Divya has got it right. Quinton Durwood. Yeh aapke fingertips pe hona chahiye. Quinton Durwood is absolutely the right answer. Quinton Durwood is absolutely the right answer. Walter Scott's novel which is set in France in the 15th century. Set in France in 15th century. So which work are we talking about? We are talking about Quinton Durwood. Okay. Yeh Scottish historical writing uh, of Walter Scott ke antagat aara hai, right? Uh, so uh, you, you are able to see a lot of times when you'll be practicing questions on either, you know, the foundation batch, worksheet, sectional test series, master class, YT. So jab you questions practice karte hain, bohat baar aapke kafi sare topics cover ho jate hain. So please remember that, right? 15th century France, aapka Quinton Durwood by Walter Scott aara hai. So please keep that in mind. It is set in 1468 altogether. The novel is narrated by Quinton Durwood, who's Scottish, Scottish cadet and his loyalty to Louis, which further manifests altogether the treachery against him. Okay, <coughs> so pura ka pura Quentin Durwood aara hai. Question number four: Which of the following Gothic fictional works features a narrative with father's incestuous love for his daughter? Father's incestuous love for his daughter. So, which of the following Gothic fictional works features a narrative with father's incestuous love for his daughter? What is the correct answer over here? यहाँ पर क्या सही जवाब हो जाएगा? Again, Gothic fiction really important. आपकी graveyard poets, Gothic literature या का directly आ जाता है. Very famous work and you'll be surprised it's just not Frankenstein for which Mary Shelley is known, right? सिर्फ Frankenstein के लिए Mary Shelley का नहीं जाना जाता है. अभी तक we've not got the right answer. Nobody is given the right answer. Tessine, did you वो B तो Quentin Durwood के लिए था ना? I think nobody, very good, Kaveri has given the right answer, Kaveri has given the right answer, Kaveri is absolutely right, Mary Shelley ka Matinda, Matilda, Matilda by Mary Shelley, where you are able to see, you know, father's incestuous love for his daughter is actually coming in, uh, okay, so Matilda ke under, uh, it is again very important, uh, of course there are other works also that deals with incest, but here it's direct question that you are able to see, okay, so please remember that, please keep that in mind, we are able to see, yeah, the Kalki class, mein, I think it was Dias's question about unreliable narrator, how uh, you are able to see Vain C. Booth in the, uh, you know, the rhetoric of fiction, ke andar, he's telling you about unreliable narrator and Lolita, the character, by, of course, you know, when you're talking about Vladimir Nabokov, he's also, Humbert, Humbert is also an unreliable narrator. So there also he's having similar feelings for his adopted daughter. Okay, which of the following literary criticisms can be observed in Mary Shelley's novel Frankenstein? Which uh, of the following literary criticisms? So, constantly literary criticisms you are able to observe in Mary Shelley's novel Frankenstein. Frankenstein. <coughs> So, you know, Frankenstein is trying to show that creation is a function of God, right? And Victor Frankenstein, by creating a monster figure, what is he trying to do? He is trying to imitate God. He is trying to imitate God. So, what is the criticism of He is trying to imitate God. What, what kind? When you you are imitating, what is it called? What is it called? Excellent. Sujith has got it right. Mimetic criticism. Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Mimetic criticism becomes the right answer. Mimetic criticism becomes the correct answer over here. Very good. So, mimetic criticism kya hai? When you are trying to imitate, you are trying to represent. So, novel ke under how men are trying to literally act like God. It's a defiance of God altogether that you are able to see. Tabhi mimetic criticism aa raha hai. I hope that is clear. Frankenstein or the modern Prometheus. Kaisi polity, uh, how you are able to see Lord Byron, P.B. Shelley, Mary Shelley, saath mein baith ke, they're having a competition that let's write a ghost story and that is how Mary Shelley's Frankenstein comes in. Epistolary format ka bhi aap dekh paate hai. Match the following fiction and authors, right? Ye aapka fiction ke works hai and you have to match it with the authors all together. I'll move over here so that you can all see all the options all together. What is the correct answer? Fiction and authors ke saath inko match karke bataiye. What becomes the right answer? Ye sare gothic literature ke examples hai. They're all examples of gothic writings that you're able to see. 
So what becomes the right answer? Zamar has got it right. 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 So when we are talking about Vathik, Vathik is by Beckford, right? Monk कौन लिख रहा है? Matthew Lewis is writing Monk. Italian कौन लिख रहा है? Italian is written by Anne Radcliffe. And Castle of Otranto by Horace Walpole. So Horace Walpole is writing. Horace Walpole is writing Castle of Otranto. Italian is a work that is coming from the pen of and Radcliffe. Monk is by Matthew Lewis. Matthew Lewis is writing. And Vethik. Vethik, when we are talking about Vethik, Vethik is a work that is coming from the point pen of Beckford, right? Beckford ke pen se aara hai. Beckford ke pen se aara hai. Okay? So I hope all of you will remember this. All of you will keep this in mind altogether. So ye saari ke saari works kis ke examples hai? All of these are examples of Gothic writings. I'll just hide this so that you can see it a little better. Uh, ye saari ke saari Gothic works ke examples example hai Vethik by Beckford uh, you know Arabian themes English French Gothic Oriental se to waise bhi inspired the Matthew Lewis ka the monk again anti catholic themes ke upar based hai uh, you know it's related to sexuality sinful temptations that you are able to look at and Radcliffe is also writing the Italian okay and the castle of Otranto is by Horace Walpole castle of Otranto is by Horace Walpole theek hai to ye aapko yaad rakhna hai ye cheez aapko dhyan mein rakhni hai so please remember that Moving on to the next question, which two among the following condemned the transportation of 50,000 slaves into England in 1771? 50,000 slaves का transportation को condemn करने वाले कौन थे? When we are looking at uh, condemning the transportation of 50,000 slaves, whom are we talking about? Who are the people associated with condemning the trade of uh, these 50,000 slaves? 50,000 slaves. No worries at all. I hope all of you got the message on both the Telegram platforms. I had shared it, right? On Nisha Ma'am textbook as well as English Literature Hustlers. I had sent both of them to the classroom ka link. Uh, okay. Yes. What is the correct answer over here? Absolutely right. Absolutely right. Okay. So, who is doing this? Samuel Johnson is there. Uh, and Horace Walpole is there. Both of them are actually condemning. So, dono ke dono, Samuel Johnson and Horace Walpole, they were condemning the transportation of 50,000 slaves into England. Please remember that. Okay. Johnson was an advocate of anti-slavery you know he was also uh, James Boswell remember was the biographer he licked the foot that kicked him James Boswell ke liye kaha jata hai Horace Walpole was also trying to question the morality of slave phir aapko yaadhi hai Herman Melville jab wo type e likh rahe hai that is becoming one of the first works to actually be critical of the colonial missionary movement altogether who among the following edited the Cornhill magazine? Cornhill magazine ko kisne edit kiya tha? Who was the editor of the Cornhill magazine? So when we are looking at the Cornhill magazine, it was edited by, it was started by George Murray, right? George Murray Smith had started it. But edit kisne kiya tha? Who was the person who was editing it? Kasturi, Zamar, Divya, everybody has got it right. William Makepeace Thackeray. William Makepeace Thackeray is absolutely the right answer. Again, 19th century may very important. Uh, you know, uh, Titmarsh, all the pseudonyms that he's using, you should be knowing it. So, Cornhill magazine ko edit karne wale William Makepeace Thackeray hai. Please remember that. What 19th century philosophical term of Russian origin did Frederick Nietzsche use to describe the disintegration of morality in Western society? To talk about the disintegration of morality in Western society. Disintegration of morality. Jo book hum use karne wale hai next week for the history of English language and literature ke liye. Uh, that's a very interesting book that actually modernism ko start karne because we'll start with modernism only because that's a very important topic altogether. You'll be uh, amazed to see the kind of people, you know, the, the nihilism is absolutely right. Nihilism is absolutely right. Nihilism is absolutely right. Okay? Complete breakdown of traditional morality. Ye mene aapko jo Sara Upstone wali class bhi kari thi YouTube ke upar uh, and you know, I've shared Sara Upstone is existentialism mein nihilism ko define bhi kiya hua hai. So, concept of nihilism that you are able to see Russian writer Ivan Tanjeev ki novel Fathers and Sons se aapka aara hai. It was later described by Frederick Nietzsche as the idea that has no meaning or order altogether that you are able to see. So, please remember that. Who among the following is known to have used the elements from the Yakshagana tradition or in theater? Yakshagana tradition in his theater. The Yakshagana tradition in his theater. Yakshagana tradition ko use karne ke liye Yakshagana tradition 
Yakshagana tradition. No, nihilism is not talking about disbelief in God per se, Devashish. It's a different philosophy. It's not believing in merit in anything. That is what it's actually talking about, right? Okay, what is the correct answer? Very good. Sujit, Aftara, uh, Fatima, everybody has got the right answer. Everybody is bang on right. Girish Kinnard is the right answer. Yakshagana tradition, say, con associated hai. Aapka Girish Kinnard associated hai. So, Yakshagana, mythological, historical, uh, aap puri ke puri stories bata rahe ho. Um, including music, dance and dialogues uh, all together, right? So that is what you're able to see. So please remember that and, uh, you know, here Yakshagana tradition is actually being used uh, by Kinnard properly, okay? Arrange the following periodicals in chronological order. Sabko dar lagne lag gaya, chronological questions se, right? Uh, ye pura ka pura hawa ban gaya, but isme aap jitna presence of mind use karenge, utna hi better aap chronology ko ace kar paenge, right? What becomes the right answer over here? Yaha pa kya sahi jawab ho jata hai? So when we are looking at all of these works, quickly tell us what becomes the right answer over here. Jaldi se batai, yaha pa kya sahi jawab ho jayega? What will be the right answer over here? Okay, Ravi Pandey, uh, Manzil, uh, Wilfran, Smriti, Ravi, uh, Zamar Kasturi, everybody is getting the right answer. Everybody is getting the right answer. So, Tatler Afka started by Richard Steele when? When was Tatler started? Tatler was the first one that was coming 1709. So, Jaha Par Afka B, right? Jaha Par Afka B first hai. That is only in option number B and C. So, is my apne elimination method use kar dena hai because you're able to see spectator. Uh, both Richard, uh, so Joseph Addison and Richard Steele dono start kar rahe hai. And when uh, to when spectator is 1711 to 1712 that you are able to see right so automatically iske baad aapka kaun sa jata hai iske baad aapka a aa jata hai rambler was 1750 when was rambler rambler was 1750 to almost 1752 that was the date for rambler that you were able to see and critical review 1756 rambler ke bilkul baad mein hi tha Tobias Smollett was first edited by Tobias Smollett itself that you were able to see. And this was 1811. Tak tha. So, 1756 and 1756 and 1817. Tak tha. So, what are we able to see? We are able to see that first you have Tatler, then Spectator, then Rambler, then Critical Review. This is the format chal raha hai for the chronological order. So, even if you have maintained your Augustan age, age of sensibility, age of scandal if you have put your notes together age of periodicals periodicals ka chronology aata hi aata hai to usko agar aapne theek tarah se revise kara waise abhi jo hamare initiative hai youtube ke upar next week onwards the book that i'll be covering us history of english literature aapka bahut achhi tarah se cover ho jayega properly agar aap regularly usko pura dekh lenge to with which of these is gugiwa thiongo generally associated gugiwa thiongo is associated with what gugiwa thiongo is associated with what? Gugiwa Thiongo is associated with what? Gugiwa Thiongo, the Kenyan writer promoting the use of Gikuyu to be used instead of English. And he said that it was really sad that people were getting penalized for using their native language altogether. B is the right answer. Wilfran, Zamar, Manzil, Divya. Uh, I don't know if you have any question ke liye, ke abhi ke liye hai. Uh, right. Decolonizing the mind. Decolonizing the Indian mind. Kis ne likha hai? Namveer Singh ne likha hai. Namveer Singh is writing. Namveer Singh is writing. Decolonizing the Indian mind. Decolonizing Decolonizing the Indian mind. Uh, decolonizing the mind is associated with Gugri Vathyongo, Kenyan writer. Hum logo ne aapko ye bhi bola hai, jase, abhi kal hum logo ne question practice kiya tha, Nuruddin Farah. Nuruddin Farah, Somalian writer. Yaad hai aapko, when we were talking about how maps is coming, secrets is coming, when we talked about how uh, Nuruddin Farah, the Somalian writer, is actually writing his Blood in the Sun trilogy. So I hope you are able to recollect all of those together, right? So ye please yaad rakhye ka, maps, gifts, secrets, sari te sari words, Right, so this is the writers cover. So, Gugiwa Thiongo, the Kenyan writer, uh, primarily uh, he was promoting the use of Gikayu, decolonizing the mind, the poetics of language in African literature. Subtitle, we have to know what we Again, talking about the problem of language, language, colonial baggage. Caliban ka famous lines You taught me how to curse, and you know, you taught me the language, and now I know how to curse altogether. The greatest good of the greatest number, the greatest good of the greatest number is a phrase 
phrase associated with the greatest good of the greatest number is a phrase associated with bahut hi simple question hai the greatest good of the greatest number is a term associated with it was first coined by jeremy jeremy bentham jeremy bentham jeremy bentham john stuart mill it is so very good utilitarianism very good everybody has got it right kasturi wilfran divya no um taise humanism nahi hai ग्रेटेस्ट गुड ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट नंबर मेरे पास सौ रुपए हैं तो मैं सौ रुपए एक को देने की जगह एक 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 रुपए सौ लोगों को दूंगी ताकि अगर कोई मुझसे पूछे तो आई बी लाइक आई इम्पैक्टेड हंड्रेड पीपल सो ग्रेटेस्ट गुड ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट नंबर हार्ड टाइम्स अटैक ऑन यूटिलिटेरियन स्पिरिट हार्ड टाइम्स बाय चार्ल्स डिकिंस थ्री पार्ट में डिवाइडेड है Sissy Jupe is the major protagonist there. The greatest good of the greatest number coined by Jeremy Bentham, Jeremy Bentham, John Stuart Mill, associated with utilitarianism, right? Attacked in hard times also. The Italian Marxist Antonio Gramsci wrote again, neo Marxism pe aapke notes prepared hone chahiye. You should be knowing about neo Marxism. Neo Marxism se aapke important questions bhi puche jaate hain. So you need to know about it. So the Italian Marxist Antonio Gramsci. What is he writing? The Italian Marxist Antonio Gramsci. What is he writing? Gramsci was also imprisoned altogether. What is he writing? Absolutely right. Prison notebooks is the correct answer. Prison notebooks is the right answer. So prison notebooks. He imprisoned the in by the Italian fascist regime. The notebooks were written between twenty nine to thirty five altogether, and then he was actually released. Also, his friend Strappa. Uh, you know, in whom he in co writing equipment see the like notepad, your books and. Uh, Other materials to actually write, and he had written about thirty notebooks, three thousand pages of history and analysis altogether. A very unsystematically written but very important contribution to political theory. Okay, ah, uh, your concept of hegemony, concept of how you need to create, ah, uh, you know, an entire cadre or an entire range. Just give me one second, ah, uh, everyone, one minute. <clears throat> Okay, so here you are able to see that prison notebooks is actually coming in. Fine, so be well aware about it. Okay, uh, moving on, ah, uh, you know, moving on to the next question that we are we are having. Let's just quickly ah uh, get started with the next one. Which of the following writers was not a member of the Scribblerist Club? Which of the following writers was not a member of the Scribblerist Club? Was not a member of the Scribblerist Club. The clubs that are there in the Augustan society, Augustan age. it cat club scribblerist club trying to intellectually bond and be together with like minded people kyunki augustan age mein reason rationality pe emphasis diya ja raha tha what becomes b is the right answer absolutely right 1714 mein scribblerist club was started when was this started kyunki aaj kal chronology questions pe kaafi focus hai 1714 so pope was a member right that is what you are able to see pope was a member jonathan swift was a member parnell ye question abhi maine कुछ दिन पहले आप लोगों को मास्टर क्लास में भी करवाया था सो गुड इवनिंग मोनिका नो वरीज एट ऑल आई होप आप लोगों को मैसेजेस टाइम पे पर मिल रहे हैं सो स्क्रिबलर इज क्लब 18th century club alexander pope jonathan swift john gay writing beggars opera jonathan swift thomas parnell arbuth not right all of these writers are a part of it, it was founded in 1714 defoe was not a member of it theek hai satirical writing all together martin scribbler is when did it end ye bhi aap yaad rakh lijiyega 1714 to 1745 theek hai 1714 to 1745 with the death of all its members augustan age ka death bhi 1744 mana jata hai ya 1745 because it's the <coughs> the death of both um, pope and swift respectively so that is what you are able to see the theory of tabula rasa is associated with theory of tabula rasa kis se associated hai <coughs> theory of tabula rasa theory of tabula rasa is associated with theory of tabula rasa kis se associated hai an essay concerning human understanding the theory of tabula rasa is concerned with The theory of tabula rasa, very good. Empiricism, absolutely right. Right. I I will only believe something that I have observed all together. So the theory of empiricism that you are able to see, okay? It rejects an existence of innate knowledge or intuition. That's why I'm saying that intuition or not, you will observe it. Then you will believe it. So reason and rationality. So blind slate all together. So John Locke and essay concerning human understanding. It's laying down the foundations of empiricism. A history of African American. in theater a history of african american theater very important book has been edited by has been edited by history of afro american theater history of afro american theater 
हिस्ट्री ऑफ एफ्रो अमेरिकन थिएटर हिस्ट्री ऑफ एफ्रो अमेरिकन थिएटर दिस इज एडिटेड बाय हिस्ट्री ऑफ एफ्रो अमेरिकन थिएटर इज एडिटेड बाय विल फ्रान इज गॉट इट राइट वेरी गुड विल फ्रान एरल हिल एंड जेम्स वी हैच एरल हिल एंड जेम्स वी हैच ये प्लीज आप अपने एफ्रिकन लिटरेचर नोट्स में लिख लीजिए हिस्ट्री ऑफ एफ्रिकन अमेरिकन थिएटर जैसे अभी मॉरिस वेस्ट पे हम लोगों ने आज की फाउंडेशन बैच क्लास को एंड किया था वेन रिमेंबर वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट द डेवल्स एडवोकेट राइट वी वर लुकिंग एट द डेवल्स एडवोकेट हम लोग डेवल्स एडवोकेट को देख रहे थे वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट थिएटर ओनली ओवर ह्योर ओके अगेन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट so errol hill james we hatch all together um right that is what you are able to see it is literally trying to tell you about anglophone anglophone english wala jo literature hai francophone that's coming from french origins canadian francophone literature is also important so this is what you are able to see the the so called styles that are there uh, you know from european forms jaise abhi bhi main aapko yahi bata rahi thi australian literature ko divide karte hain aboriginal writers australian literature is also divided with six very important राइटर्स ऑफ यूरोपियन डिसेंट तो इस तरह से भी आपकी कैटेगराइजेशन चलती है ठीक है सो प्लीज रिमेंबर दैट फातिमा ये लिखा तो आए बच्चा नहीं दिखाई दे रहा है इसमें मैं कल आई बोल्ड इट आई बोल्ड इट ये लिखा हुआ है फाउंडेशन बैच की क्लासेस का है ना फातिमा ये ऊपर लिखा हुआ है बच्चे पूरा का पूरा टाइमिंग आपका यही लिखा हुआ है कल इलेवन ओ क्लॉक है बट वो कल इलेवन ओ क्लॉक इसलिए है कल आपका जो इलेवन ए एम पे फाउंडेशन बैच क्लास है दैट इज योर क्लास ऑन एफ्रो अमेरिकन लिटरेचर सो वो आपका फाउंडेशन बैच पोस्ट कलोनियल लिटरेचर के अंदर वो आपका कल इलेवन ओ क्लॉक है या वो आपका कल इलेवन ओ क्लॉक है ओके डैश डिलेवरी मैन ले एफ्रा बैंड वर नोन एज द फेयर ट्राइमरेट ऑफ इट इस तरह के क्वेश्चन मैंने आपको कहा कि नेक्स्ट वीक से जो वाई क्लास पे हम लोग बुक करेंगे उसमें ये सारे क्वेश्चन काफी ईजी हो जाएंगे Uh, but let's just see no worries fatima that's perfectly all right bachche uh, yes absolutely right uh, kasturi has got it right uh, d is the right answer d is the right answer elisa haywood elisa haywood manly and afra bend in tino ko fair triumvirate of wit consider kiya jata hai writers of amatory fiction amorous fiction love related fiction all together that you are able to see titillating romances were being written by them women's rights and unki position uh, tab aa rahi thi women राइटर्स डेवलप हो रहे हैं जस्ट लाइक आपका स्क्रिब्लरिस क्लब है वैसे ही आपका यू नो यूर एबल टू सी ब्लू स्टॉकिंग सोसाइटी आ रही है वे वुमेन आर एक्चुअली कमिंग इन इंटरक्टिंग सो दैट इज ऑल्सो एन अदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट यूर एबल टू सी ओके ये हम लोगों ने कल ही किया है सो आई एम लीविंग दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव जस्ट डन इट येस्टरडे आई होप यू रिमेंबर दैट तो आई एम लीविंग इट सब्सक्रिप्शन के बारे में वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट इट इज मूविंग ऑन टू द ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन ऑफ पुलिश कंसिस्टेंसी इज हॉप गॉबलिन ऑफ लिटिल माइंड अडोन्ड बाई लिटिल स्टेट्समैन एंड फिलोसफर्स एंड डिवाइंस दिस कोड बिलोंग्स टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग ट्रांसेंडेंटलिस थिंकर्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्लासरूम क्लास में फाउंडेशन बैच में आई इवन वेरी रिसेंटली टोल्ड यू अबाउट दिस ये कौन बोल रहा है very important writer who's the one who's talking about it very famous lines that you're able to see self reliance ke andar bhi ye batayi jati hai foolish consistency is a hog goblin of little minds herd mentality little minds sochenge what is the right answer over here why would you say that why would you say that smriti has got it right smriti has got it right very good smriti smriti ka bilkul sahi jawab aaya hai excellent smriti very good this is a star क्योंकि ये क्लासिकल लिटरेचर भी आपका तीन पार्ट्स में डिवाइडेड है सो दे डोंट बिलोंग टू द क्लासिक एरा पीपल ग्रीक 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 कैसे कर रहे हैं आप 
ग्रीक इस तरह से तो थैंक यू तिथि तिथि ने ही सिर्फ अपना ब्रेन अप्लाई किया है देखो ऐसे करोगे तो फिर तो हो चुका काम ठीक है तिथि थैंक यू सो मच बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपका लिखा हुआ है ग्रीक आर्टिस्ट है क्लासिकल एरा छोड़ ही दो ठीक है फोर्थ फिफ्थ सेंचुरी अगर छोड़ भी दो तो बच्चे लोग आप ये देखो ये तीनों के तीनों ग्रीक है ठीक है आप क्यों अपना माइंड अप्लाई कर रहे हैं ये ग्रीक राइटर है ओविड ग्रीक राइटर है ओविड को हम लोगों ने ग्रीक लिटरेचर में किया है Please don't do that, okay? Please don't do that at all, ठीक है So please over here remember that, okay? Please over here remember that. So you can take a look at the recordings, no worries at all. You can practice it uh, as per the recordings. So थोड़ा सा please use your brain. इसी तरह से chronology के questions भी आप easily कर सकते हैं अगर थोड़ा सा you're using your presence of mind all together. Don't go wrong with this. तो so, Greek literature तीन parts में divided है archaic, classical and Hellenistic. Archaic, classical and Hellenistic. ये तीन parts में divided होता है आर्के तो अर्ली पार्ट है जहां पे आपका फोकलोर होमेरिक एपिक्स आपका ट्वेल्थ सेंचुरी में वो एक्चुअल वॉर हुआ था एट सेंचुरी बीसीई में होमर एक्चुअली लिख रहे हैं राइट right? का थियोजनी भी आ रहा है क्लासिकल uh, पीरियड के अंदर आपका सुपोकलीज आ रहे हैं यूरोपीज आ रहे हैं एरिस्टोपनीज की कॉमेडीज आ रहे हैं हेलेनिस्टिक एरा दैट यू आर एबल टू सी इज द कोर्स कमिंग इन बट प्लीज रिमेंबर रोमन राइटर्स है ये वर्चुअल ओविड हॉरिक्स ये सारे रोमन राइटर Which of the following scholars is associated with frontier thesis? No, this is master class is AM, not PM. Master class is AM, YT is PM, foundation batch is PM. Don't get confused, okay? ये इसलिए है ताकि आपको पूरा दिन मिले to review those concepts, right? आपको पूरा दिन मिले to review those questions all together, ठीक है? So please remember that, okay? अ जल्दी बताइए frontier thesis से कौन associated है? Who's associated with frontier thesis? Frontier thesis is कौन associated है? A is absolutely the right answer. A is absolutely the correct answer over here. Uh, so Frederick Jackson Turner is associated with frontier thesis. ये आपको बोला भी क्या था? So uh, you know the historian Frederick Jackson Turner ये आपका frontier thesis associated है. Frontier का पूरा का पूरा जो RR है aspect how you know the the fight that is taking place that you are able to look at. Okay. Uh, okay, nice. Six o'clock. That's good. Which among the following received the Booker Prize for Fiction in 2020? Booker Prize for Fiction in 2020. Today, we have seen many many Booker shortlisted writers. Who have seen? 2020, me Booker Prize is getting. 2020, me Booker Prize is getting. Shaggy Bean for me. Shaggy Bean for me. What is the right answer over here? Shaggy Bean for me. Booker Prize is getting. 2020. Uh, no, 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 no. बोल भी दिया शादी बेन फिर भी यू नॉट यू नॉट टेलिंग द राइट आंसर इट्स 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 दैट यू आर एबल टू सी so here uh, please remember that i'll hide myself so that you can actually see the entire explanation so douglas stewart won the booker prize for shaggy bane the debut novel uh, it's telling the story of the youngest of three children shaggy growing up with his alcoholic mother agnes right in 1980s jo thatcher thatcher era margaret thatcher ka era hai right post industrial working class glasgow scotland mein uh, 1981 1981 that you are able to see you know the five year old shaggy was living in a tenement flat uh, and uh, the, with the maternal grandparents so pura ka pura you know story of shaggy bane that you are able to see by douglas stewart that is the right answer over here okay who is credited for writing this is again a very simple question that is coming in right aapka rt period classical period and hellenistic period ke andar ek bahut hi important writer hai O2 Aphrodite, O2 Aphrodite, the person who was coming from the island of Lesbos, right? Who am I talking about? A very important poet from the Archaic period. A very important poet from the Archaic period altogether. Uh, 
अच्छा प्रियो आपका यू नो सारी की सारी क्लास लिंक्स एंड स्केड्यूल्स मैं टेलीग्राम पे भी नेक्स्ट वीक से रेगुलरली भेजूंगी तो प्लीज आप टेलीग्राम पे आ जाइएगा यू विल बी एबल टू गेट द लिंक एंड देन यू कैन जॉइन इट ठीक है यस द राइट आंसर ओ टू एफ्रो डी टी इज बाय सैफो ओ टू एफ्रो डी टी दैट वी आर एबल टू सी दिस इज कमिंग बाय सैफो राइट ओ टू एफ्रो डी टी इज समथिंग दैट इज एसोसिएटेड विद सैफो ओवर ह्योर दैट्स एब्सोल्युटली राइट लाइक आई सेड यू नो सैफो आके ग्रीक पोयट हैं Uh, writing it all together, right? The poem is written in Aeolian Greek and set in Sappho's stanzas, uh, which Sappho is associated with. Tenth muse uh, that you are uh, Sappho is compared to. Uh, cult of Aphrodite, praying to the goddess of love all together, just like the bhakti movement, you are able to connect with Aphrodite. That is what you are able to see. Okay, moving on to the last question for today, and then all of you can sleep. And by the way, eleven eleven be ho raha hai. so uh, kuwar sahab singh uh, so you can the uh, nirja ma'am textbook uh, english literature hustlers aap kisi bhi telegram channel pe connect kar sakte hain dono pe i'll share the link all together okay chaliye jaldi se bataiye what is the correct answer over here what is the correct answer over here jaldi se bataiye which of the following so 11 11 i want all of you to also make a uh, wish uh, for yourself right it's 11 11 so uh, please make sure that you know you're also making your wish Eleven, eleven is considered to be like the art of manifestation. Uh, what is the right answer for everybody? So all of you can also make a wish, rather have you know your journal also to make sure that all of you are wishing and uh, getting your wishes come true. Yes. Uh, the last question: What becomes the right answer for everybody? Yes, very good. Tessine, everyone's got it right. Uh, Tessine and everybody has got it right. Who among the following are practitioners of detective form uh, of fiction that you are able to see? William Thackeray is wrong over here. तो यू नो ओवरऑल इफ यू आर एबल टू सी दैट अगाथा क्रिस्टी एडगर एलन पो विल्की कॉलिन्स ये सारे आपके बिल्कुल सही हैं सो डिटेक्टिव फिक्शन इज अगेन अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट तो आज हम लोगों ने कौन कौन से फिक्शन देखे हैं एमिटरी फिक्शन रिमेंबर द फेयर ट्राइम्बरेट ऑफ विट राइट मैनले एक्रोबेन एलिजा हेवर्ड वी हैव लुक्ड एट एमिटरी फिक्शन वी हैव लुक्ड एट वर्क रिलेटेड टू गॉथिक फिक्शन लाइक बेटफोर्ड के वर्क हम लोगों ने देखा मतिल्डा द इंसेस्ट्रस रिलेशनशिप सो जस्ट कवर ऑल ऑफ दीज थिंग्स टूगेदर पुट दैम ऑल टूगेदर दैट यू आर एबल टू सी यू नो एंड एंड टेक अ लुक एट इट आई विल बी कैचिंग अप विद ऑल ऑफ यू आई होप All of you will be absolutely regular Monday to Friday. मैं पूरा का पूरा जो schedule है आपको share भी कर दूँगी. So Monday to Friday for the master class, it will be at 9 a.m. Next week for this particular week, and uh, your YT class uh, schedule for this particular week is 10:30 p.m. अच्छी तरह से be regular. काफी interesting चीजें packed up हैं. Your worksheets have been prepared, and secondly for master class, and secondly for YT, like I told you, with this interesting book called. <coughs> The history of English literature. हम वो सारी चीजें कवर करेंगे एंड क्लास रूम स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज प्रिपेयर वेल ऑल द थिंग्स दैट वी बीन डिस्कसिंग सो फार दिस वीक इन पोस्ट कलोनियल राइटिंग्स लाइक डाइस फॉर इट राइटिंग एफ्रिकन लिटरेचर एफ्रिकन लिटरेचर का रीस्केड्यूल होगा सो दैट यू डोंट हैव टू वर्क ओके थैंक यू सो मच एवरी वन थैंक यू थैंक यू येस एब्सोलूटली राइट थैंक यू थैंक्स दर सीन थैंक्स फिर फ्रॉन थैंक्स मोनिका कस्तूरी फातिमा ओके थैंक्स फातिमा येस फातिमा इज लाइक आर ब्रांडिंग मैनेजर प्लीज लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब राइट या फातिमा थैंक्स so much okay thanks everyone take good care of yourselves good night sweet dreams classroom students i'll see you tomorrow at 11 am bye take care thank you thanks shabnam aprajita good night monica thanks thanks so much